that fourth quarter in Detroit. Just wondered what you thought of the first quarter tonight, just the you know, falling down 10-0 and then just the lead that they were able to get up to. What, what did you think the reasons were for that? Yeah, you know, I really got to look at the tape. You know, I, I thought we, uh, we had a few good possessions to start the game, you know, where we missed shots. Um, and, you know, they got, you know, obviously uh, they scored on their first five possessions or something like that. So, you know, our execution on, on either side of the ball wasn't good enough to start the game. Um, didn't know until about 20 minutes, 30 minutes before the game, uh, if Anthony was going to go. Um, you know, but not not a good enough start. But you know, a hell of a fight. You know, by our guys. You know, to, to fight back in, uh, compete the way they did. They're competing their tails off to get W's and uh, just falling short. Um, you know, but we have to have a better better start. Last two games, you know, we're playing uphill. Um, you know, it makes things difficult. In fact, just to zero in on THG for a second, it's three straight tough shooting games. Have you noticed anything with that and anything with his thumb or is it just a rhythm thing? What have you seen? Yeah, it's tough. You know, we tried, uh, we tried using him, you know, as a, as a point guard instead of Rondo tonight, um, you know, in the minutes that Russ was out. Um, you know, I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Again, you know, we'll, we'll have to look at the tape. I thought there was, um, you know, two plays where we went to the basket early in the game and got fouled. Okay, and ended up missing missing the shot, but yeah, because because the whistle didn't blow, and um, you know sometimes that affects your confidence. I'm not sure. I, I, I do know that he made some really good paint to great passes. You know, found guys for three point shooters, had four assists. You know, overall played played a you know a decent game. Just didn't finish. You know, it's just one of those nights for him. So um, you know he's going to be fine. You know, we'll look at the tape and like we always do and, and learn from it. Yeah, we got to make look. We got great looks. It, it was, the ball was just going in and out. I mean, Mel, Melo's looks were great, and they were right there, and they all felt good. It was just one of those nights the ball was going in and out, you know. And uh, you know, we're going to continue to you know to to work on generating high quality looks. And if we do that, um, you know, those shots will fall. So you know, we just got to continue to compete through it, uh, believe in our shooters, and um, you know, that will come around. Russ. Uh, Russ. Had 31 points, 18 in third quarter. I think just one turnover after um, after the, the first quarter. Are you getting a sense as a coach for what really activates him, turns him? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're finding ways where you know he's really comfortable and trying to minimize you know ways where he's he's been getting getting himself in trouble. And uh, you know. Um, you know, I think that's that's all part of the, the integration process. You know, that there's going to be some growing pains early. Um, you know, but we're figuring it out. And um, you know, he's bringing great, great competitive spirit uh, in the absence of of Braun. You know, when we're shorthanded, and uh, you know, really willed us uh, to to the victory in Detroit, and almost did the same tonight. You know, we just fell short. Yeah, well, we, we need everybody to contribute, you know, and we shot 37%. So, um, you know, we never need everybody to, to play confident offensive basketball, um, you know, to sh take shots within the rhythm of the offense. And, um, you know, we have 23 assists. We're, we're really harping on our guys to, you know, to play for each other and, and really become a team, you know, on the floor with, with how we play. Uh, so to generate shots for, for others and when the ball moves and we're creating for, for others, you know, um, you know, hopefully everybody gets going. You know, with those assisted type type plays. So uh, Avery's doing a great job on on the defensive side, and we're encouraging him to be aggressive offensively as well. Frank, you just mentioned the Lakers will play the final game on their five game road trip Wednesday night when they take on the Indiana Pacers. Tip off is set for 4 p.m. We'll get you ready for game time with Access Sportsnet Lakers starting at 3, right here on Spectrum Sportsnet. We've got more to come. Lakers fall to one and three on their current trip. We'll have more post game reaction from the purple and gold next on Access. Access Sportsnet Lakers is driven by your Southern California Honda dealers.